AI is not just good at helping you in your writing, it is also good at helping you with your business. And in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through one of the fundamental business practices that you should be doing and how AI can actually help you enhance that process. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason, I'm the Nerdy Novelist, and we're doing something a little bit different in this video. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about learning how to write faster, write better using AI, but it also has a focus on how to sell more books with AI. And so I do talk about other tools and other practices. And in this video, we're specifically starting a series that is going to walk you through a basic online business uh, from an author's perspective primarily, but a lot of these principles that we'll be talking about can be applied to any business really. And most businesses have a book of some kind involved in it. And so you might want to pay attention even if you are not an author and are not, you don't consider yourself, uh, don't have that ambition to be an author. And so uh, what we're pulling this from is this book, Dot Com Secrets, by Russell Brunson. This is my favorite book on online business, and I don't say that lightly. Um, this is this and the other books that follow it are the some of the only books that I have where I have every single version. I have this print copy, I have the ebook, and I have the audiobook, and I'm frequently reading or listening to that book uh, on repeat because I do believe that this is a distillation of pretty much anything you need to know for business in general, but especially for online businesses. And so it's what I'm using as my framework for as we're going into ChatGPT today to give us the the, the basic outline for what we're going to be doing. Uh, so I'm basically adapting it for use with AI, which I think is really fun and I'm enjoying that a lot. Uh, I do have a link where you can get this below. It's from his website directly. I think it's the best way to get it because you can get a lot of extra goodies and stuff if you do it that way. Uh, it is an affiliate link. I am an affiliate, but I have I only just became an affiliate. I've been reading these books for years. And so definitely check them out if, uh, or check this book out if you're interested. And let's get into ChatGPT. All right, so I have a pretty lengthy prompt here that we're gonna be using. And this is adapted from the book, as I mentioned, but we're we're specifically talking about customer avatars here. And if you don't know what a customer avatar is, it's basically who is your dream customer? Pick a single specific person. Sometimes that person can be you, but sometimes it's not. And because a lot of businesses do tend to spring up around people saying, I wish this thing existed uh, because you are your best customer, but that's not always the case. And so we're going to be developing customer avatars using AI and it's going to be a really important process uh, to follow and if you are not using an avatar in your business you absolutely should be because that is how you uh, you get it niched down to the most important qualities uh, of what your business should be focused on so you're not just scattered in a whole bunch of different directions so here's the prompt you're an expert business consultant with over 20 years of experience coaching authors to identify their audience and grow their business your task is to help me discover who my audience is and what their cu customer avatar should look like you must always ask questions before you answer so you can better zone in on what i am seeking acting as a business tutor. Here are some questions to consider, but you can add more. You can see I am adapting the writing tutor prompt that I shared in a previous video. We're basically turning ChatGPT into a business tutor uh, who is going to help us walk through this. So here's some of the questions to consider. Who is your dream customer? And ask for specific details about who they are, what they do, where they work, what they look like, their age, their wants slash desires, ideal day, favorite movie, TV show, etc. Is that understood? And we'll hit enter. All right, and it has given us a list of questions to start with on what our customer avatar can look like. These are super important and I recommend you fill them out thoroughly. I'm just gonna quickly answer them so far uh, as I'm able to right now and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, so I went ahead and answered these questions that it gave me. There were seven of them, I answered every single one. And then it gave me um, some follow-up questions to all of that, which is actually really cool about the initial tutor prompt that I gave it. If you 
um, if you give it that prompt, it will usually ask follow-up questions based on your answers to the first questions. And so that allowed me to dig a little deeper. And then uh, I gave it some answers there. And then it actually started creating this customer avatar, which it won't always do. And you can just prompt it to do that. I have a prompt that I was that I had ready to create a customer avatar. Um, but then it started just giving me this information. Your ideal reader is a woman in her mid-30s, but your books also appeal to men. She is likely involved in a demanding job that keeps her busy throughout the day. Her income is middle range, and she's highly educated with a master's degree. She lives somewhere in the United States. This is a little general, and that is based on the information that I gave it. I just said somewhere in the United States, right? And so we are going to give it another prompt to um, enhance this a little further. Um, and see how, how well it does. So let's expand on that customer avatar. Start by making it a lot more specific about the details, like where she lives or her age. Etc. Um, and then we'll say, give her a name and more details as if she were a real person. Also talk about what could potentially attract her to my books. So this is the prompt, and this is, uh, I was just adapting this on the fly from the prompt I had ready, which was to ask it to actually create a customer avatar using everything we've discussed so far. So that's something you could do. You could say, using everything we've discussed, create a customer avatar that does X, Y, and Z. Um, but we'll go with this prompt for now and see what it gives us. All right, so now we have this customer avatar. Ava is a 34-year-old woman living in Austin, Texas. She works as a project man manager at a fast-paced tech company, a demanding job that leaves her eager for an escape at the end of the day. Uh, we could do that, um, but here's where you might want to start tweaking the details. Now, you could just edit this yourself, or you can ask a the AI to uh, improve this. And like, I think I would like it better if she were a teacher. Can you modify accordingly? All right, and I like this. Um, we now have, she's now an elementary school teacher, and I think it's funny that they, the AI bumped her salary down from 70,000 to 55,000. That's sad, but uh, unfortunately true. Um, and it added a couple of details that I did not include in my prompts, uh, like she's a mom to two playful children. That wasn't in there, um, and so things like that are good. And I think this is a pretty good avatar, and you would want to do some research of your own. Look at the people that are reading your books or that are in Facebook groups um, surrounding the topics that you write, and you can ask them more about their wants, their desires, and everything like that, and then you can include that in this customer avatar. But now we're going to get to the fun part, and... Uh, we are going to actually take this avatar here and interact with it. So we're going to ask the the AI to pretend to be this person, and then you can ask that person questions. Uh, and so this is where things get very fun. And so we're going to open up a new chat for this. Make sure we're in GPT-4. And this is the prompt here. You're going to pretend to be Ava we had Ava and actually I'm going to need to whoop we're gonna need to copy this profile so we're gonna have to try that again copy this profile into here now I'll copy this prompt Okay, you are going to pretend to be, and we insert the name, Ava, using the details below to draw from. It will be your task to answer any questions I might ask you and to carry on a conversation. And now we just copy and paste all that information about the character and hit go. 
And so it is now saying, as Ava, it's a pleasure to meet you. How can I assist you today? I was just wondering what you were reading lately. All right, so the AI says, I'm currently engrossed in a fascinating series called The Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. I didn't prompt it to be a fan of Brandon Sanderson. It just knows that it, this person likes epic fantasy. It's an epic fantasy series with an intricate world building and well-developed characters. It's just the kind of escape I need after a long day at work. And what about you? Have you discovered any captivating books yet? And say, I can say, I love Sanderson too. I actually just wrote a new book series that is very similar. What kind of things are you looking for in a book? That's exciting to hear. As a fan of Sanderson's work, I'm always on the lookout for similar stories. Here are a few elements I particularly enjoy. Intricate world building, character development, complex plot, lengthy series, elements of fantasy, heroic themes, and gives a very detailed thing. So you can see how this could be a really interesting way to, in a sense, interact with your customer avatar. Now it's not a replacement for, nor should it be, for actually talking to your actual audience members. I highly recommend you do that too. But this is a good way to kind of get an overview of what they might be thinking, what are some of the plot things that they are interested in, uh, what are the tropes that they like. Um, and she ended here, uh, your new book series sounds intriguing. I'd like to hear more about it. It's an Arthurian fantasy series that is a loose adaptation of an epic poem by a guy named Edmund Spencer. True story. Oh, that sounds intriguing. As an Arthurian fantasy, I assume it revolves around the legendary King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. The fact that it's based on an epic poem by Edmund Spencer makes it even more captivating. I presume it might be the Fairy Queen, right? I've always been attracted to that blend of chivalry, magic, and medieval romance. Now, a lot of people won't know what the Fairy Queen is, but the AI does, and so, yeah, that is accurate. I'd be eager to explore how you've adapted these classic tales and made them your own. Have you introduced new characters or perhaps an innovative magic system? So, yes, um, it does do a good job uh, conversing. Now, you'll notice that a real person might not be getting into this much detail and asking me all these questions. It's kind of nice to like, oh, you you want to know about that? Well, uh, you know, an actual person might not care as much and you have to make them care. But this is a good way to kind of just get a feel for the character avatar and to interact with them, maybe ask a few questions based on um, any questions you, you might actually have about what they might think about something. Just understand that they are likely going to say yes to everything that you tell them um, that yes, they like this, yes, they like that, when in fact a real customer avatar might not be as interested. And so that's something to keep in mind. But this is a fun little exercise definitely to get to know your audience at the very least. And I hope you like that and I'll see you in the next video.